How you doing? I'm Jeff with Jeff's Line of Landscaping, and I have four things that I would work on if I was starting a lawn service this year. So, one of the things I would try to keep my debt down as much as possible. Uh, you know, you may have to go in debt a little bit uh, to get get some things starting out, but I would try to keep it uh, down as much as possible. Uh, you know, I wouldn't get to where I, I feel like I have to get uh, all the expensive uh, mower starting out. Uh, you can always start out with uh, the cheaper mowers and, and work your way up later on improving them when you're making a little bit more money. Uh, so I try to keep my debt down. Uh, you know, I feel like if you're if you're mowing uh, with a cheaper mower, uh, you know, as long as uh, it's doing a good job, the customer's happy, you're making money, that's all that matters. Um, so that's uh, one thing I would concentrate on. The second thing I would I would uh, concentrate on is uh, I would try to bid my jobs right from the beginning because uh one thing that's kind of hard is if you bid them a little cheap starting out well i when you're starting out i'm sure you're going to be a little bit cheaper just to try to get established uh get enough work and everything but at the same time uh you know you can bid it uh, a little cheaper but you still have to bid it where you're making money if you bid it too low uh you know as the years go sometimes you get a little bit behind uh, and you want to raise them and it, it's harder to catch up so if you bid them right to start out with yeah, I think it's going to make it a lot easier on you in the long run and you know you don't want to go around mowing a bunch of yards and uh, not making no money so the third thing I would work on is trying to get my area uh, condensed down to a smaller area uh, I like working around my house, so I kind of pick that area and try to get as many jobs as I can in that area, uh, you know, where I won't have to drive as far and everything. Uh, so the fourth thing I would say, and this this was, would be a, a pretty, pretty uh, important one, is try to save some money. Uh, for the winter uh, if you can make it where you know you start getting money coming in it's more established and you could say okay I'm gonna put this much back a week uh, from the beginning if you can or as soon as possible for the winter uh, you know no matter if you're really doing good and everything I would try to put money back because when the winter comes along uh, you know, you may be making good money in the summer, but then when winter comes along and you're not working, you know, unless you're working in an area where you work year round or whatever. But where I, where I'm at, uh, you know, we don't we don't work in the winter time when it starts getting cold and all that. So uh, if you can put money back uh, to pay for uh, what bills you have to uh, pay for. Um, you know, I think it would be better. You know, I'd hate to get out there and just think, oh, I'm making good money, and and, and then all of a sudden the winter hits and then uh, you end up being in, getting in trouble. So those would be the four things that I would concentrate on, uh, and I'd appreciate it if you would uh, check out some of my other videos, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.